Sunny fam, what's up? It's your Sunny Trainer, Sydney, and I'm back today with another workout challenge. This challenge is all about moms. So if you are a busy mom, this challenge is going to be for you because we love our moms. We wanna make sure that you guys have an easy way to get a great workout, kind of build out that regular workout routine. I know that it can be so hard to keep up with that schedule when you are busy, whether you're a stay-at-home mom or you are a working mom, you have so much that you do on the regular, which we are so thankful for, and that's why we are putting this challenge together for you. Now I say challenge, we have set this challenge up so that you can use it for a month of exercise. However, you are free to use this as a regular workout schedule and continue working through this and building on it over time. All right, so the way that this challenge works, we have a full week of workouts for you guys. So I'm gonna go through day by day what you guys are going to have. It's pretty simple, all right? So stick with me. A few days of the week, we are going to do a full body workout, so working on that strength. And I'm gonna go through those exercises in this video in a little bit more depth so that you guys know what you're getting into. But first, our schedule, all right? So Monday, we have our full body workout like I just talked about. I'll be showing you guys those exercises, all right? Tuesday, we have active cardio. So when you see active cardio on the calendar, all that means is I want you to be moving, whether that's walking, whether it's jogging, running, maybe you have some cardio at home. It doesn't mean that you are working out hard, right? I don't need this to be a vigorous workout. It can be what you make it. So if you just wanna go for a nice walk, a little jog, get the heart rate pumping a little bit, get your body moving, that's the whole point of your active cardio. So do with it what you will. Pretty simple, even if you don't have fitness equipment to just get out the door and get moving, right? All right, Wednesday, we have a rest day. And during this day, instead of just doing a full rest, I have programmed in a mobility workout for you guys. So you're welcome to take a full rest if you want, but I highly recommend taking advantage of that mobility workout because after a few days of exercise in the week, that mobility workout is going to make your body feel awesome. And it doesn't take long, it's only 10 minutes. All right, Thursday, we are back to our active cardio. If you're a mom who is interested in losing weight, burning some more cal calories, or really increasing that fitness level, you have the option of doing a HIT cardio workout instead. All right, if you check out the article, we have tons of HIT workouts for you to choose from that you can use at home or you can build your own HIIT workout. The whole point of a high intensity workout is to get that heart rate pumping. So you wanna be moving at a high speed, a fast pace to really get that heart rate going, as well as taking rest breaks, right? So that's what HIIT is all about. Friday, we are back to our full body workout. So we are working on those muscles once again, upper body, core, lower body. I will show you guys those exercises in just a minute. Saturday, we are back to our active cardio, and then Sunday, we have a rest. That was a lot of explaining, right? But it's pretty simple, right? Monday, full body. Tuesday, active cardio. Wednesday, mobility or rest. Thursday, active cardio or hit. Friday, back to full body. Saturday, active cardio. And then Sunday is your full rest day. Okay, if you guys wanna see more on that calendar and get more ideas for those workouts, like I said, check out that article, right? Because it has everything that you need to get started and get going with this workout plan. Okay, now into the exercises. So this is what you guys came for. I'm gonna go through our full body exercises that are going to be in your full body workout that you're gonna be doing twice a week. All right, no equipment needed for this workout, but if you wanna add some dumbbells in to add some weight, make it a little more challenging, feel free, okay? So our first exercise is air squats. Just gonna be squatting right here. Hands can be in front of you, on your hips, wherever you feel comfortable. We are going to try to squat down to 90 degrees, all right? If you can't get quite there, just squat as low as you can. So nice and easy, we're making sure that our toes stay behind those, or our knees stay behind our toes, right? So just like you're sitting back in a chair, think about pushing those hips back as you squat down. All right, that's our first exercise. Next up, we have push-ups. For push-ups, you're gonna keep those hands under your shoulders, hands are out at your sides, and we are coming down. 
bending those elbows and trying to keep those elbows in as close as we can to that body to really work those triceps. Now, when you're in this position, we are holding a nice high plank and you are holding that plank position nice and tight through that entire range of motion. Awesome. All right, next up, we have mountain climbers. So we're gonna stay right in this plank position. Nice high plank. You're gonna drive one knee forward, drive the other one forward. If you wanna work your obliques a little bit on the move, you're gonna drive your knee to the opposite elbow, so a cross body mountain climber. All right, that's it. Next exercise. We are back up for some lower body. This time we're gonna be doing split squats. So this one you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you do this on each leg, all right? I'm just gonna show you on the left leg. So right leg comes back. We're in a nice stationary position, hands are on the hips. You're gonna come down, bringing that right knee as close as you can to the ground without slamming it down. And our left knee stays behind that front toe, making a 90 degree angle with both legs. All right, you're gonna do that on both sides. Don't forget, because you want to make sure that you are nice and balanced, right? Our next exercise is an up dog to a down dog. So we're going to start in down dog, all right? Core is nice and tight, pressing that chest towards the floor. And we're trying to get those heels nice and close to the floor too, so we're getting a good stretch too. You're going to come through, bending those arms, and bring it up into an upward dog. Nice, good stretch here. So this one is really good for mobility as well, which is important for you moms because you're holding your kids, working in the house, moving around throughout the day. We're getting a nice, good stretch with this move, but we're also working a lot of our muscles here too. So this is a good one, I love this one. Stretching through, and you're just gonna keep moving through these two positions. All right, last but not least, we have one more exercise and that is a glute bridge. I love glute bridges. I put them in almost every workout because I know that you guys love those glutes. So, nice and easy. You're gonna lay flat on the ground. Core is nice and tight, and pelvis is tucked under, okay? Heels are nice and flat on the ground, and you are going to squeeze through those glutes, keeping that core nice and tight, and we're pushing those hips through. All right, really isolating those glutes, getting some good glute work in before we are done with our workout for the day. All right, so those are your six exercises. I love combining exercises like these because it's really going to target your full body, right? We're working in different planes of motion. We're working your arms, you're working your back, core, and your lower body, which is going to make you feel confident, it's going to help you tighten and tone up that body, increase your strength, and just make you feel great, all right? So I hope that you guys enjoy this challenge. Be sure to head to the article to check out more details, and enjoy. We'll see you guys next time.